Estrella Dam 00. Cupra. Adeslas. Patrocinadores oficiales de World Padel Tour. Hello, good morning and welcome to our live coverage in English of the World Paddle Tour. It's the Valladolid Master 2021 and its finals day. This is our venue, a spectacular setting. The Plaza Mayor here in Valladolid. I'm Alex Kirkland and wherever you are watching, uh, wherever you are in the world, thank you for being with us here for finals day in Valladolid. The uh, sun is uh, shining and our first two pairs are already out there on the court uh, getting ready to get started it's the women's final uh, to uh, kick off our coverage here and it promises to be a cracker paula jose maria and ariana sanchez against uh, alejandra salazar and Gemma Triai, two of the best pairs in women's paddle right now and two pairs who between them have already collected three tournament wins so far this season jose maria and sanchez champions in madrid and marbella salazar and Triai were victorious in Alicante. Lots to look forward to and alongside me to enjoy it is Manu Martin. Good morning Manu, how are you? Good morning Alex, I'm so good. Looking forward to this one? Yeah, we have a great final today. Uh, well, uh, during, during Mar Marbella we saw this match uh, during the semi-finals and it was a great match, third set. And I think that is going to be really interesting. We've seen some interesting matchups between these two pairs. You mentioned the semi-final in yep. Marbella. They also met in the final back in, in final. Alicante. Yep. And that was a strange one because that was a really one-sided uh, match. It was won by Salazar and Triay in two sets and Paula and Ari really felt like they didn't perform. So they'll be looking for a different outcome here. Yeah, I think that uh, there are maybe two things, two important things. The first one, when they played uh, during the final, is not the same because they, they Paula and, and Ari, they were coming from winning the last tournament. So sometimes uh, that kind of pressure is, uh, well, it's really heavy. And then the second thing is that now they're playing uh, outdoors, like mm. it was in, Mar in Marbella. So I think that uh, these both things uh, maybe uh, makes the, it makes the difference. So today, uh, depending on, on, the, on the way that it, the, the match begins, uh, I think that we're going to see a closer match like we saw in, in Marbella. Yes. Uh, because of the, of, the, of the weather, the conditions. So I think it's going to be an interesting match. I don't know how much you managed to see of the semi-finals yesterday, um, but, but what, what did you make of, of what you did see? Well, I saw uh, Alejandro Salazar uh, really confident yesterday, and I think that well, today, uh, Ale and, and Ari, uh, in my opinion, they are the, the players who are going to make the difference because obviously we, we know that Paula uh, is going to smash over the fence and everything with the, with the overhead shots. It's uh, really dangerous and that's the same for, for Gemma. She's going to be uh, going to the middle and using the, the smash. But I think that uh, Ari and, and Alejandra, maybe <coughs> they are not so powerful uh, with the hope overhead shots and with this uh, kind of conditions uh, they make the difference so well let's see uh, i think that today uh, if alejandra can use the the back wall shot and, and ari can use the the over over the fence shot maybe we'll see more more winners from this uh, these two players yep looking at the uh, the semi-finals yesterday as you say, Salazar and Triay defeated uh, Lucia Sainz and Bea Gonzalez in two sets. Uh, it was uh, it was more tricky, more difficult for Paula and Ari. They were up against uh, the Martas, Marta Moreira and Marta Ortega. And that was a really traumatic, incredible yeah. three-set match. It went all the way to a, a tie-break in the third uh, set. It was one of those matches where you just didn't know what was going to happen and who was going to, to come out on top. Even, uh, is it possible I, I saw one match point for, uh, for the Martas? Or yes, or yeah, yeah, I think close. so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was so interesting. I, I was looking uh, from my my cell phone and <laughs> I was so nervous. So well, and in fact, they had too much points. I'm just checking. Point. They had too much points on Marrero's serve yeah. and didn't didn't take them. 
So now, uh, well, now we have uh, the Martas back uh, on court and playing semifinals. It's so interesting for the for the women. So one more couple trying to mm. to win the tournaments. It's well, that's what we want. We want competition. Yeah. We want um, you know from one tournament to the next. It's great for us for it to be unpredictable, not knowing which pair is going to come out on top. That's what we want to see. The level of competition continuing to rise, and this final will get underway very shortly. Looking at a really spectacular setting there, the Plata Mayor in, in Valladolid. And here we see uh, the route that these two pairs have taken to the final. As I say, Salazar and Triai defeating Sainz and Gonzalez. Uh, Jose Maria and Sanchez beating Marta Moreira and Marta Ortega in three sets. But yeah, this venue, uh, Manu, in the Plata Mayor in, in Valladolid, it, it's great, right? It's, and the atmosphere yesterday with the crowd was, was really special as well. Yeah, this is one of the most special tournament. When you're there uh, into the, the central court, you can feel the the people and the, the environment. Yeah, I mean, look, I there's the sun as well. You can yeah, feel the sun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, uh, just in the morning, early in the morning, the sun is in front, ahead. And it's so, well, uncomfortable when you're playing. Now, as you can see, Ari and, and Paula, well, I'm, I used to play with sunglasses on this kind of situation, but uh, some, some players, they, they don't know, Adi is never playing. Yeah, I, I haven't seen, certainly no one um, yesterday was playing with, with sunglasses. It's maybe not so, not so common, I don't know. Yeah, well, uh, sometimes, you know, uh, you don't feel comfortable and mm. you have to be uh, absolutely focused yeah. on uh, what you're doing. And, well, it's about uh, feelings. And, well, <laughs> but anyway, when you're playing, they are, uh, it's a really different match. I mean, from this angle, that camera angle, you can see the, the sun and how yes. difficult it will be for the players at this end yeah. of, the, Absolutely. of the court. And the second thing, you can see the flags. Uh, Yesterday, the there was a lot of wind and it was quite changeable. So yeah. it wasn't consistent, which made it difficult, I think. You saw the players always looking at the flags yeah. to, to see the wind direction. <laughs> so sometimes you're, you're using the, the lob and the, and the ball is going out and suddenly the, the wind stopped the, the ball. So so, well, uh, now you, we can see the, the flags. Yeah. When, when I was uh, on the bench, I was all the time looking at the flags because, well, the, the, the wind is like going in, in circles, they are not all blowing all the time in the same direction because of the of the buildings. So, well, it's uh, as, as you said, it's uncomfortable. You, you have to adapt and, well, sometimes it, uh, this is good for you and sometimes it's good for your opponent. Yeah, it's something extra for the players to uh, to think about and take into uh, consideration. Certainly the conditions here, the sun and the winds as well. As we see uh, Ari Sanchez there and Paula Jose Maria just uh, taking a moment before they uh, head back out onto the uh, the courts and uh, and get started. I mean, it's difficult, Manu. Uh, predictions are always are always difficult. I won't ask you for a, for a prediction, but what's your feeling about the type of match that we're going to, to see. I think that uh, Ale and Gemma, uh, maybe they should be feeling more comfortable uh, because of playing the finals. But uh, it, I think that this depends on the mental game uh, of uh, Paula and, and Ari. Uh, they're performing on, uh, very good. And uh, during the, the last final, when they, they lost 6-0, uh, 6-1, it was about about the mental game and today if they are strong i think that maybe uh, they can win this match but anyway if, if you I, I think that number one and the favorites on this match are uh, ale salazar and and Gemma Triay. here we go we are ready to get started here in the women's final of the Valladolid master 2021 alejandra salazar and Gemma Triay 
against Paolo Jose Maria and Ariana Sanchez, and it's going to be uh, Salazar to serve first. And now Ali and, and Gemma, they have a small advantage because of the sun. So let's see if they lose, if they lose the, the net, if they're able to, to use the lob. Alejandra is very, is very dangerous on this kind of situations with the sound, with the with the wind, with the bad world, the bad world shot. Great, Paula Jose Maria. Alice Bandeja wasn't the, the, the best, and so she stayed at the back. And now Paula boosting the, the ball. They're focusing on Alejandra. Alejandra keeps playing. And well, and they are trying to avoid the overhead shots yeah. from, uh, from Gemma. Playing two versus one against Ale. But the problem with, with Ale, with that back wall shot, it comes so fast. You you cannot imagine where the, when, where the ball is going and with the sun it's even more difficult. 40-15. Yeah. Forty thirty now. Salazar serves. Great love. Oof. What a shot. What a return from uh, Sanchez. Yeah, because uh, Gemma was going to the middle of the court because. <laughs> It was supposed to, to put the ball there. And great start for Paula and Adi. So a goal point in this uh, very first game of this final. And this is uh, what I was talking about now. The win put the, the ball out. Mm. So she had to uh, work to hold her serve there, Salazar, but got there in the end on the gold point. But it's a great beginning anyway. More oh. and more fans are making their way into the arena here, taking their seats all the time. It's uh, just coming up to quarter past ten. Sunday morning local time here. Hope all those spectators have got their uh, their sun cream on. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the the, the, the World Paddle Tour hats are, are very necessary as well with that with that sun. It's 
it's uh, Paolo Jose Maria to serve now. Paolo, of course, uh, a home favourite uh, here. She is uh, from the region. I enjoyed plenty of home support yesterday. Yes. And now Alin Gemma, they are playing against the sun, so they have to difficult games. Right now, Gemma walking forward, volleying from the back, trying to make uh, uh, Paula and, and, and Ari feel uncomfortable. Great love. Some trouble for Alejandra because because of the of the sun, she uh, let the ball bounce in the, on the previews and now made a mistake with the bandeja. Impressive, Paula. So brave, clear minded. And she's making really good decisions. Well, here it is. They keep, they, Paula and, and Ari, they keep focusing on, on Alejandra. Mm. Incredible. Wow, impressive point. Yeah, the crowd uh, enjoyed that one. Yep. Ended with uh, Paula Jose Maria finding the net. Yeah, once the Alejandra has the ball on the on the forehand, it's uh, really difficult to play against her. But anyway, great effort. Now Paula and Ari at the back defending. Thirty love. It's important for Ale and, and Gemma to to keep this serve because they play they are playing against the against the sun, so they must avoid the the break when they're playing on that position. Would work. Gemma. Yeah, there's uh, the game, so that's it, 2-1.
in this first set of this Viadalid Master final. So 2-1 to uh, Salazar and 3-I. It's too early to draw uh, any conclusions, really, at this stage. It's going to be uh, Harry Sanchez serving now. Let's see now, after the, the talk with the coaches, if the, they're going to switch any, any tactics. And uh, now Adi serving from the uncomfortable side, playing uh, against the Sun. Let's see if they are able to, to keep this serve. Ah. <laughs> I think the, the ball bounced bad. change it's so dangerous Paula when when using the for him volley because she's playing so good to the middle of the court but now with that kind of changes uh, on the direction well I think they're playing so confident. Very up. And this is something that they they should be avoiding, Alejandra mm. and, and Gemma, because well, when Paula feels comfortable comfortable with the with the smas, it's so hard to play against her. But I think that Gemma should be going to the. Well. And that's the thing with the sun. Great movement, Gemma, changing over the the backhand volley because now Paula was close in the middle of the court waiting for the forehand volley like before
Well, tough moment now for Ari. Yeah, it's uh, another goal point here. Impressive though. Salazar there found the gap in between Sanchez and Jose Maria. Paula was expecting the ball over the fence. And now uncomfortable situation for, mm. for Paula and Ari. staying at the back because she knows that the ball is coming really fast from the black uh, the back wall shot but uh, Alejandro is so dangerous that the problem if you use uh, the lob over Gemma it's difficult but if you're using the lob over the back wall shot from Alejandra it's difficult as well Dirty love as uh, Salazar and Triay look to build on this 3-1 lead in this first set. Yeah, and it's difficult about the mental game because uh, Paula and, and Ari, they, they were winning 40, 40, lo mm. 40 up. And now they they are losing. They lost the, the serve and uh, maybe they feel some pressure. So uh, it's uh, eight consecutive points. Well, there's the game. So that's 4-1 now. That's uh, Salazar and GI lead. It's looking good for them now in this first set. continues to uh, grow here in the Plaza Mayor and they are watching uh, Salazar and Triay lead in this first set as we see some stats here 10 winners twice as many for Salazar and Triay as for Sanchez and Jose Maria so far fewer unforced errors uh, two just the one from Salazar and Triay let's see because now uh, Gemma and Ali are playing against the Sun, is the uncomfortable side of the, of the court. And uh, Paula and Ari are playing against the wind. So they need to, to do this game 
not only because of the score, it's about the mental game, if they want to be on this final. Great movement, faking the smash. Into the net. 30 love. Well, that's it. This is the kind of reaction that yeah. they need. Yeah. It's a 4 2. <coughs> and uh, Sanchez and Jose Maria will be looking for to pick off a break at some point and uh, level things. Let's see now because the tactics uh, for, for Gemma is uh, trying to use a very good uh, first serve and a great volley. If Paula and Ari are able to, to use the lob over Alejandra with the sun, well, maybe they, they have one opportunity anyway. When Gemma and, and Ali are playing like this, strong with the volleys, it's so difficult. Now Ari trying to use the to use the lob, but uh, well, it's not easy when the when the ball comes so fast from the first serve. It's uh, difficult to use a good lob. Once again, aiming for the Alejandra's overshot, but Gemma went to the middle of the court. Whoa. Impressive. Alice drop shot. Well, it's 5 2. Salazar and Triai closing in on this first set now. Players heading back out as we still keep an eye on those uh, flags for the breeze. Not too much wind and not too much evidence of it so far. No, anyway, the problem is not about the intensity of the wind, it's about yeah. that, well, it's sometimes it is and <laughs> sometimes it's not. But well, now let's see because uh, I, th I feel Gemma more confident uh, going to the middle of the course. This is something really important for for this couple so let's see now as we can see with the with the forehead volley let's see if they can point over Alejandra again
great shot. And this, now we can hear the the people yes. making noise, and this is something that <laughs> well we were expecting from the COVID uh, times. Oh, we really did miss having yeah. uh, the fans uh, with us. Makes a big, big difference. Makes a difference to the players as well, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. That's uh, the kind of things when you're playing and it uh, increases your adrenaline. usual to make that mistake with uh, with the forehand but uh, anyway now we have again Jim Matriai playing just in the middle of the court so close to the to the line and it's not easy to play against her with she feels confident I was smiling because they, they know that they need two more points to close this set let's see the, re the reactions from Paula. Well, here it is. Gold point. Gold point. Huge mistake now. Gold point and set point. Ari Sanchez to serve. Now Ari trying to play with the first serve. Salazar couldn't deal with that from Paula Jose Maria. No, it's difficult <laughs> when Paula is playing with the overhead shot. The ball comes so fast. serving to close this set. Yeah. In that situation, Ari has to, to volley over Alejandra because, uh, well, Gemma plays so good with the forehand volley on the middle of the court. And now we can see again. It's not the a good test when when Gemma is playing in, in the middle mm -hmm. if you're playing against her because it is it, uh, well it's uh, that she feels co so confident Sanchez off the back wall, touch down the middle from Triai. Sanchez manages to adjust and get there. Then the smash from Triai, but not enough oh. on it. And then the return from Paula Jose Maria is white. Brings up another set point. Yeah, now they have four. They 
comes the serve from Salazar. Up in the air from Paolo Jose Maria and Gemma Triai. Ooh. Well, didn't manage to dispatch that one. Oh. Off the back wall. And then, Impressive. wow, my goodness. Impressive. How on earth did they keep that one going? <laughs> and still, again, Triai doesn't manage to finish it off. What a rally. Salazar now. Had a couple of opportunities there to get this at set one, Triai and Salazar. There. Haven't taken them. You can see the impact of the sun wow. as well. Yeah, and they're playing. Now they're okay. <laughs> Maybe the best point on this final. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Wow. Oh, and there's the winner from Gemma Triai. What a point that was and what a way to win the first set. Salazar and Triai take it 6-3. They really had to fight every step of the way they were made to by uh, Sanchez and Jose Maria there. Eventually, Gemma Triai took the opportunity. Look at that from uh, Ari Sanchez holding on to the, uh, the fence to get that shot done. And that situation, the you're, winner. you can do everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As we see the replay again there of uh, the set point, it's advantage uh, Salazar and Triai here, who, as I say, have taken this uh, first set 6-3. There's the set summary. 39 minutes it took for Salazar and Triai to take it 6-3. Uh, uh, they had twice as many winners. Just the one break point. And just two uh, errors from Salazar and Triai as well. Those two gold points made a big uh, difference. They could have got it done a little bit earlier. They didn't, but they got it done in the end. Yeah, I think that uh, talking about the mental game during the beginning of the, of the set, they lost, uh, they lost the serve, and uh, well, they have recovered, but maybe. Oh no, and we can see again Gemma playing in the middle with the forehand volley. Now Paula has to fix Gemma on the closer to, to the side wall, otherwise, uh, well, she feels so comfortable. the best way to, to begin this set because uh, Ale and Gemma are, they're playing against the sun so it's the uncomfortable side 
will be playing there for one, only one single game. And uh, pa Paula and Ari, they should be keeping the, the serve. Wow, brilliant. Alejandra Salazar using a slow bandeja to the middle of the court. And uh, just Gemma walking forward, close in the middle. Gold points. points. Yep. <laughs> And that's it. The best way for Gemma and Ali to begin this set. Yeah, needed a change of um, a change of something. Change the momentum, the dynamic, the uh, the way that this uh, match yes, is going. Mostly because they they broke the the serve on the difficult side, so now they have what well, it's supposed to have two more uh, easy games. Uh, talking about the conditions, mm. yeah. It's a good start for Salazar and Triai. Like I say, Sanchez and Jose Maria need to change something. Because uh, the number one seeds are on top right now. Fifteen-all, and they keep doing the the same, using the f the best uh, first serve uh, that they can, and then we uh, put in pressure with the with the first volley, and able to avoid the the lob. I think that Paula needs to to fix Gemma because uh, now Gemma is reading the game very very accurate and going to the middle. Thirty all. Well, 
Well, these are the kind of things that the, the win makes. Well, they have one more opportunity. Gold points, and uh, I know it comes at the start of this second set, but uh, it could be a really important one if if uh, Sanchez and uh, Jose Maria can break right back. It will really change the mood for them at the start of set two. And they need this point if they want to keep a life. Well, mistake from Paula Jose Maria yep. means the game goes the way. She tried, to, and Triay. she tried to slow down the the bandeja, but when you're playing against the against the sun, it's not easy. Great job, Paula Jose Maria with the with the backhand down the line, fixing uh, Gemma. and Ale, they're going for the match. Wow, wow, impressive. Adi Sanchez. Thirty fifteen. Well, that's it, that reaction. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, some positive signs there from Ari and Paola making it 2-1 uh, in set two now.
we get another look at the uh, spectacular setting of Valladolid's uh, Plaza Mayor. As we just see Paolo Jose Maria receiving some uh, some physio there. Yeah. Well, not sure exactly what the problem is. I think that it's uh, overloaded is uh, the word. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, well, you, uh, you don't have to forget that they have been playing for yeah for many many uh, many matches. And uh, even when when you're playing a master, usually the the girls begin playing on, on Thursday when they're playing an open. But on these kind of tournaments, they're playing from the from the first round from the Wednesday. So mm. it's uh, one more match. Still receiving treatment there to her um, left forearm. And she has now three minutes treatment. And after this, uh, on the next change, two, uh, the one more, two times mm -hmm. uh, more during the during the stop. Well, let's hope that she's uh, okay, Paola Jose Maria. And it's not surprising, she generates so much power with some of those yeah. shots. Of course, at some point, she's going to feel the strain. Anyway, on, with this kind of condition, when you're playing outdoors, uh, well, she doesn't use the the power smash as uh, well as he, she does when she's playing indoors because of the, of the wind and the sun. So... I think that anyway, she she can handle this situation. Anyway, let's see after this physio treatment. Mm. going to be Gemma Triai with the serve. Great shot. Well, and sometimes when the when the player asks for the physiotherapist they stop the match and sometimes mm. it makes the difference and they, they go back. We should say, of course, I mean, it, it's obvious, but Paula is left-handed and it was yep. her left hand that she was getting the treatment on, so it is, um, it's her racket hand. Shot. This is something that Paula has to avoid. When, well, now we can see the yes, the wind Look blowing. At wind. Look at those flags. Mm. Well, this is uh, what we were talking about.
Three one then Salazar yep. and Tri I lead. Great movement now, Paula. Because well, maybe if she's injured with the on on her arm, it, this is a good solution. Trying to to fake the smash and only using the smash when she's able to win it. Well, impressive. Yeah. 15 -0. Well, she feels comfortable, I think. Forty fifteen. Yeah, looks like it certainly. Certainly looks that way. Great volley. Forty thirty. Well, now it's difficult for for, uh, for Ari to use uh, the lob with the win, so she tries to play close to the net, and Gemma is waiting for that, expecting the volley. Great change. So it's 3 2 now that Salazar and Tui lead in this uh, second set. They're still on top, but uh, Paula and Ari staying within touching distance. That dropped off a bit again, but it is it's very changeable from one minute to the next, and that's as we've said is what makes it difficult for the for the players because they have to just keep making adjustments accordingly. Still the sun though, as you can see, not too many clouds in the sky. Yesterday it kind of got a bit cloudier as the day went on. Seeing some stats there that show uh, more unforced errors from uh, Paula and uh, Ari, more winners yep. for uh, Ali and Gemma. Same number of smashes from uh, each side of the net. Players back out now. Now tough, uh, tough side for for Paula and 
Minari playing uh, playing against the Sun. So, well, let's see. Ale is trying to to serve with the first uh, with the, serv the first serve as fast as possible and, and using a, an aggressive first volley. Let's see if now Paula can use the lob. Smash from Trio yep. in the Nets. Great point. Well, now Alejandra trying to speed up that ball. Or D15. Great work. Now Paula working and uh, Ari with the definition. Thirty all. best moment because it was a tricky moment for for Ali no serving to keep the to keep the serve 40 30 There's the game. Clenched fist from Salazar as they restore, uh, she and Tui restore that two game lead 4 2. And we can see again, firstly, the sun, now the wind blowing and putting the ball, uh, that love out. And that makes the difference. You, ha you have to be to able to adapt all the time to different conditions. Love 30. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like if now Paula lost the, the focus. Yeah. Well, the situation now is quite tricky. Love 30. Because they, they were so close to on, on that moment. Mm. Oh. 
Oh. The net from Tri, yeah. and she's really frustrated there. Look at that reaction. She knows that was a good, a good opportunity there to make it love 40. That's long from Paula Jose Maria, and that makes it 15:40. Smile from Salazar. Chance now for another break. <laughs> well, two more super opportunities. Mm -hmm. Just misjudged that down the line. Sanchez serves. Triai returns. 30-40. Wow, it's good from uh, Paula Jose Maria, and then puts that away at the net. Well, that's two break points yep. saved. And now Paula smiling, this kind of reaction put some pressure out. And they need this point. Gemma will be returning. Another really important moment, this. crowd <laughs> yeah tense moments there and then into the net from Paula Jose Maria the mistake comes and that makes it 5-2 Salazar and Triay in set two and it looks like unless there's a dramatic change of fortunes here they are closing in on victory So this final could be nearing its conclusion quite soon if things go the way of Salazar and Triai here on Gemma Triai's serve. Well, in serving with uh, new balls, so we expect uh, to see even a faster serve from 
from Gemma. And people clap him because I think that they, they want to see more final. Reaction now. And now Paula and Ari, they have to be brave because, uh, well, they are in a bad situation. But this is not over. They have switched the tactics. Um, Ari is playing cross court against Gemma mostly of the time, and I think that that's a good solution when they're now they're playing against the Sun, so she can fix Gemma on that side, and Paula can use the middle of the court with the with the forehand. So I think it's really smart solution. Maybe a little bit late. Yeah, yeah, maybe too late, but let's see. Well, mistake from Salazar into the net, and that game goes the way of Sanchez and Jose Maria to reduce the deficit to 5 3. So 5-3 now in this uh, second set. <laughs> Paula mm. boosting the, yeah. bo the ball. the net from Ari Sanchez yeah. that time 15-0 Ari complaining because uh, she saw the, the space in the middle of the court but she, she wait for the ball Thank you. 
Some nervous now trying to close the match. Thirty all. Ari keeps using the lob over Gemma. Whoa. Careful. Forty thirty. Yeah, careful is the, the word. If uh, Sanchez and Jose Maria can make it 5 4 here. Oh, what a shot that is Impressive. from Alejandra Salazar. That is glorious. Just at the right time when her team really needed it as well yeah. to come up with that shot. So brave. She's oh. using. The forehand, ball, the forehand on the middle of the court. So, tournament points on a gold point. Lob from Triai. And again. Oh, and there it is. Yeah. That's Salazar it. sinks to her knees. So does Gemma Triai. They hug each other. The crowd stands to applaud the tournament winners here at the Vida League Master 2021. Alejandra Salazar and Gemma Triai. So, so pleased with that. It was a really competitive well, second set, certainly. The deserved winners, Salazar and Triai over uh, Jose Maria and uh, Sanchez. Uh, Manu, what was the big difference uh, between the pairs for, for you? Well, I think that the, the confidence uh, during the beginning of the first set, uh, Ale and Gemma, they, were, they felt more confident. They won the, the important points and maybe uh, Ari and, and Paula, uh, they, they haven't played as uh, well as free as they usually do. They usually do. Mm. Uh, well, any, anyway, uh, you, we cannot forget that Ale and Gemma, they are number one and they play so good. And when you're playing like, like this, uh, on this kind of situation, they had a, a, a couple of chances uh, during the second set, uh, Paula and, and Ari, to go into the into the match again. But, you know, uh, you were playing with the sun, with yep. the wind, and you had to, uh, to adapt uh, to all these conditions. Yeah, congratulations to them as we see the summary of the second set. 42 minutes it took, the 6-3 win for Salazar and Triai. Uh, even in some senses, the same number of winners, similar numbers of unforced errors, but those four gold points going the way of Salazar and Triai, and three break points, of course, uh, as well, making a big difference. Congratulations to Alejandra and to Gemma. We'll hear from them in the Flash interview in just a second. Here's a summary of the match, an hour and 21 minutes. It lasted two sets, 6-3, 6-4, 6-4, 6-4, 6-4, 6-4, 6-4, 6-4, 6-4, 6-4, 6-4, 6-4, 6-4, 6-4, 6-4, 6-4, 6
6-3. I mean, that score makes it sound very comfortable. It wasn't always that, no. that comfortable. Well, sometimes the score, uh, it doesn't uh, give you the information about, yeah. the, about the match, but here we can see six gold points mm. uh, versus one. And, well, you know, the difference uh, between winning or losing that, that kind of points, well, really makes the difference. Not only talking about the score, it's about the mental gain, it's about the sensations and the confidence. Ya tenemos campeonas del so let's Master listen to the ya players. Tenemos yeah, let's Ale hear from Alejandra Salazar and Gemma Triay, their latest tournament win. Congratulations. Start with Alejandra Salazar. You've won. You've returned to win again. This place is maybe a place vitally where you always give your best version. Do you think? Yeah. Special connection with this court, with this square, with Vitalit. I have a lot of really good feelings here. Despite four years ago, when I had that really bad knee injury, I came back the next year with the same excitement and enthusiasm. I love playing here. I think I play well here. Let's hope this tournament carries on every year. Alejandra, que se lleva la ovación del del público, Gemma. Gemma. A marvelous uh, final. A really high level. You've shown the version that we, that we want to see. Yeah. I was saying, going from, from less to more in the tournament as a whole rather than today. Así que, bueno, felicitarla porque creo que, Congratulations. que ha hecho un partidazo. No es fácil. A, a it isn't easy. Eh, <laughs> está difícil ganar un torneo. Es difícil ganar un torneo. Está todo muy igualado. Tournaments, Teníamos it's very even. Con dos torneos así, We've medio regulares de sensaciones. Two, uh, y, y nada, creo average, que uh, este torneo es lo que estaba diciendo. Y creo que esto es lo que queremos hacer otra vez. Y, y sí, esta Getting es la versión feelings. y la versión que queremos demostrar. Y la versión que queremos demostrar. Bueno, pues ya tenéis dos torneos, well, dos torneos de seis, tournaments you've won now. Y vais a entrar en la historia de, de Valladolid, de World Paddle Tour. To history in the Vitalis and the World Paddle Tour cámara. signing here. Ahí vemos como our champions. la jugadora menorquina the, uh, firma para la historia en su primer uh, título Gemma en Valladolid. Triai, her Tenemos first uh, title en Valladolid. in Vitalis. Alejandra Salazar, and Alejandra Salazar. una vez más su Once firma. Again, En esta, en la capital, with a uh, trophy Castilla here in the capital of Castilla y León. Congratulations, Gemma, Gemma Triay and Alejandra Salazar, Salazar the winners reinas, of the Vitalite Master, Master, Master 2021. So a thoroughly enjoyable women's final there, won by uh, Salazar and Triay against uh, Sanchez and uh, Jose Maria. A great performance from the uh, the number one seeds. Manu, we're seeing again just such a high level and uh, real competition in the women's uh, women's circuit this year. Yeah, we have. Uh, well, we know it's uh, really close. Everything is really close. Uh, there we have many pairs competing. It's so good, mm. and I think this is so interesting. Now, as we were talking about uh, during this uh, presentation with the Martas inside of the game again, uh, well. I think that we are enjoying a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Lots more to come from the women's uh, tour this year. But next up here in Vise Elite, it's the men's final. Don't go anywhere.
So here we go then. The men's final of the Viadalid Master 2021 is coming right up and it is a all Argentinian affair. Fede Chingotto and Juan Teo up against uh, Maxi Sanchez and Luciano Capra. Lucho Capra, certainly a match that will be uh, generating a huge amount of uh, excitement back home in Argentina without question and plenty of excitement here in the Plata Mayor in Valladolid as well. We saw yesterday Chingotto and uh, Teo defeat the number one seeds Lebron and Galan in two sets pulling off the upset there to book their spots in the final and then Maxi Sanchez and Lucho Capra uh, defeating uh, Fernando Balastiguin and Sanjo Gutierrez in three sets as well. So we saw two upsets in the semis. Let's see what happens in the final. Uh, Manu Martin, as always, is alongside me. And uh, Manu, this is maybe a, a final that we didn't expect at the start of the competition, but we're really looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, we didn't expect uh, Maxi and, and Lucha to be playing the, this final. Uh, we didn't expect Fede and Juan play in the final <laughs> as well. Uh, I think, of, of course, they deserve it and yeah. they can play it. But well, they, they, maybe it wasn't the best uh, beginning of the of the season yeah. for for them both. But well, I think it's so interesting, mostly because uh, well, this is an unexpected and a different kind of final. We were maybe used to see LeBron and Galan and Paquito and everything. So well, yeah, I think it, uh, it's a really interesting match to see. Yeah. We should mention as well, we saw the players there wearing the, the World Paddle Tour t-shirts yeah. with the message, uh, Mafi, you aren't playing alone. Uh, that's a reference to, to Mafi Sanchez Alayeto, uh, the uh, well, long time, hugely successful player on the women's uh, circuits of the World Paddle Tour, who recently received uh, the, a really unfortunate diagnosis of uh, sclerosis. And all our thoughts are, are with her and the thoughts of everyone involved in the World uh, Paddle Tour as she looks to, to, to battle with that diagnosis. Yes, it deserves all our support and, well, uh, we really, really love uh, Mappy and we, we wish uh, she to be uh, playing with us uh, as long as possible. Yeah, wish her uh, all uh, the best. Uh, right now, though, it's uh, the men's uh, final out here on court in the Plaza Mayor in uh, Via de Leeds. And uh, it's going to be fun, this, this this final, I think. I always enjoy watching Chingotto and, uh, and yeah. Teo. They're so explosive. <laughs> Just entertainment is is almost uh, guaranteed when they play. And, and Maxi Sanchez and Lucho Capra, as you said, they deserve to, to be here. They beat Bella and Sanjo in uh, three sets uh, last night. It was a real kind of um, epic yeah. uh, three-set semi-final. Uh, that one that had its back and, and forth for both uh, pairs. But they will be so pleased to to be in this final and they'll want to make the make the most of it that's the thing when you're a, a pair who aren't used to, to playing finals every every week every every month when you get there you want to make the most of it yeah of course and well we have uh, here two couples and I think that you were mentioning you, you were talking about Chingoto and Tello and well it's lovely to see them playing and I think that mostly of the amateur well it is difficult to do what Tello does because you need to be uh, Tall, strong, and <laughs> well, everything. Yeah. Only, only some of us are lucky to have <laughs> yeah, the, the genetic, yeah. <laughs> only the, the good genes, <laughs> like but that. When you when you see Chingoto because of the size and everything, <laughs> then you see, okay, maybe I will be even, able. Even I, yes, could, yeah. So I think that with all the respect, I, I think that it, it's like when you see playing Chingoto, it's one of the most talented players in the world. But it's like saying, okay, you don't need to be so tall and, and strong to be uh, one of the best players in the world. And uh, I think it's really interesting to see uh, him and to analyze and to study how he plays, how smart he is and how accurate he is with, the, with his shots. Mm -hmm. And I think it's an example for, for all the players, uh, amateur players. We saw yesterday after the, the semi-finals, both of these pairs, they were quite emotional actually. We yeah. saw in the flash interviews, I think there were some, some tears from, from Juan Deo. We saw it from, I think, from Lucho Capra as well. It means a lot, a lot to, to them. So much hard work and so much effort and dedication. Training, I mean, you know this uh, as much as, as anybody. All the behind the scenes work that we, that we don't see, 
sometimes all that we see as viewers is what happens on the court. And when you, you don't get the results for a player, it must be so frustrating to keep working and keep working and not get the results that you that you want. So when it happens, when everything comes together yeah. in kind of perfect synergy and in a tournament like this for both of these pairs, it must feel so good. And it, and it is very emotional at the same time. And the thing is that when the bad thing happens, it's like a very long time because you're losing and losing and, and the weeks uh, passes and suddenly in 20 minutes the the match uh, changes and then you're in a final or you're in a semi-final so it's uh, like everything comes so fast uh, over you and well uh, <laughs> you, you sometimes you begin to cry and you don't know why yeah. but you feel that well everything that you're working on uh, for so long is here and that you deserve to be here the players are uh, warming up right now out on court here in Via de Leeds. This men's final will um, get started uh, shortly. In terms of uh, the men's circuits in general uh, this, this year, again, we're seeing a competition. We're seeing different pairs uh, winning at the start of the, of the season. We saw Sanyo and, and Bella with some success. LeBron and Galan, of course, winning tournaments as well. Um, but there are other pairs out there who can can compete, uh, and that's what we're we're seeing because it's not it's not LeBron and Galan. Of course, they've they've won several tournaments this year, but yeah. they're not winning every every tournament, and there is competition there. Yeah, and well, as we were mentioning the, during the last uh, tournament, uh, it's about the condition. Now we are close to the summer, and we have these outdoors uh, uh, tournaments. We will have uh, indoors in in Valencia next week. And well, this is like uh, it happens in, in tennis uh, when you have the, the, the grass or the, or the fast court and the slow courts. Uh, I think that makes uh, some difference for, for some players and some players have uh, they, uh, their opportunities to, to go to the final or even winning matches. And it's up to, to the players if they have to be very consistent uh, during, the, during the season. And I think it's an uh, interesting thing because otherwise we all, we will be watching all the time the same players uh, play in the finals and I think it's not so interesting. Yeah, well, as we saw in the semi-finals uh, yesterday, there is always room for um, for surprises, for upsets in in paddle. We saw that with uh, Chingoto and Teo defeating LeBron and uh, Galan in two sets yesterday. We saw it with, with Maxi Sanchez and Lucho Capra defeating uh, Bella and Sancho in uh, three uh, sets uh, yeah that is uh, certainly adds to the uh, the enjoyment as well for the spectators the, the that kind of uh, unpredictable outcome is always possible in uh, in paddle as we see uh, maxi sanchez uh, there uh, out on the court alongside uh, lucha capra maxi sanchez who's had uh, a difficult start to the year as well had a change of uh, of partner already in in 2021 yep. linking up now with with Lucho Capra, it, it, it's never easy, I guess, to be in those circumstances and have to make changes with the seasons already, already started. But what a, what an outcome here to have to have come through that and then to have made his way through to uh, to, to the final. That's that's good news for for Maxi Sanchez and it'll give him confidence in this um, new project. I guess you might say that he's building with uh, with Lucho Capra. Lots more to talk about and lots more to look forward to this uh, men's final here in Vidalí coming up. We talked a bit about uh, Chingoto and, uh, and Teo uh, Manu, who are one of the 
the longest lasting uh, pairs on the men's circuit, been together for many, many years. What are your thoughts on, on Sanchez and, and Capra? Because like I say, they, they are one of the newest yeah. uh, pairs on the men's circuit. Well, Maxi Sanchez is uh, one of the best players uh, on the world. He has been number one. He has won a lot of uh, champions and uh, has been in a lot of finals. So he's a uh, big experienced player. And uh, Lucho, I think that he played one final in Barcelona in uh, 2016, maybe, 15 or 16. So anyway, he's a great player. Maybe he's not used to, to play this kind of final in, in, during a master. But anyway, I think that uh, really, uh, well, with this uh, kind of condition, maybe Maxi Sanchez is not the more aggressive player, but with this, with this kind of condition, with the, with the warm and the fast ball, I think that he's going to be more aggressive and more dangerous than he, he usually is. And, well, obviously, depending on the score, they can compete and, well, they're able to win this final. We love to see this kind of pairs like Chingoto and Tejo playing together for a long time, I, I love this kind of uh, relationship on the on the players. Uh, but well, I cannot say who is the the couple who is going to win this match. Maybe the favorites are uh, Tejo and Chingoto, but careful because Capra and and Maxi they're they're really dangerous. Players uh, just having a word with their coaches uh, here and the chance to just get a quick drink of uh, water and get ready for this final to begin. There is uh, Fede Tingotto getting uh, all set to get started. And then making his way out uh, onto the court. As you can see, just a little bit of, uh, of cloud here in Viadolid yep. now. Not quite as sunny as it was when we started off this morning. Pantejo heads out to join uh, Tingotto on court now. There we see some cloud, not not too much, but we are now ready for this uh, men's uh, Visor League Master Final to start. So, Chingoto and Teo against uh, Sanchez and Capra. There's our countdown, and here we go. <laughs> Oh, had to adjust their cap round. can see Fede and, and Juan very motivated from the very beginning of the match. Maxi focusing on the, the Juan Tello defense. That's it, Maxi testing the, the smash. Fifteen. That's the thing. Now they have the the wind, and they will be testing the the lob. It's not easy using it against this. Now we can see with the males, we can see faster smash.
Good work now. Yep. Capra. First game for uh, Capra and Sanchez. They're clearly attacking over Juan Tello. They, they know that Fede, Fede Chingoto defends uh, very good, and we can see the, the wind blowing. Yes, look at those flags. Yeah. And that's the reason why maybe they, they let uh, two lobs, short lobs, because, well, it's difficult. You, you know that they are going to use the lob, but you don't know if the ball will go out or not. Chingoto to serve. Great luck. Yeah. Well, and now they both pairs. They they know that when when your their opponent is they are using the the smash, they should be locking that smash because otherwise uh, it's difficult to to put the ball in again. Maxi used the the chiquita. Maybe he was expecting that Tello walk backwards, uh, trying to use the smash. But Tello was really waiting that ball. One more mistake and two opportunities to break Chingoto's serve. Thirty forty. Impressive love. <laughs> what? Well, that's it. Good start for Capra and Sanchez with that early break. Yep. They're using good lobs and they're winning the net in a better situation that, than Tello and Chingoto. A 15, hit encouragement there. <laughs> <laughs> Chingoto cheering. Great Lucho.
One more mistake. And now Chingoto and, and Juan they must find a way to to use the lob or, or to win the net because they, they are the back. And uh, Lucho and Maxi are leading once again. Impressive smash. And well, these are the things when you're playing against uh, left-handed and four-handed players. Uh, yes, the middle of the court is covered with the, with the smash. What? Break point. And point for the 3 0 as well. Yeah. Here comes Capra with the serve. Well, big run from Maxi Sanchez yeah. to take that three game lead. It's uh, looking good for the uh, number nine seeds so far, taking that third game in set one on a goal point. out here and let's see how uh, Chingotto and uh, Teo uh, react to this start to the match. Teo uh, serving now. Uh, many mistakes from, from Teo and Chingotto. Well, some. Juan Teo uses to make mistakes but uh, well, he wins a lot of points, but it's not, uh, not, not, not usual to see this kind of uh, mistake from Fede Chingoto. Great Fede. Day here in uh, Via de Leaders. You can hear from the uh, the bells of the clock tower here in the Plata Mayor. It's 30 15 in uh, Teo and Chingotto's favor.
Oof. Oh, so difficult. Very clever now. Fede got slowing down the the overhead shot towards to the feet. Well, here's, here's their reaction. Yeah, first game on the board for Chingotto and Teo. Focusing on Juan Tello's defense. Well, they know that if Fede Chingoto is the one defending, it will be more difficult. So they they are focusing on on Tello. Has to win up. Yeah. Fede must play to the middle in that situation, otherwise Maxi with the with the backhand volley can put some pressure on the middle of the court. Great smash. the way of Capra and Sanchez and they uh, restore that three game lead to go 4-1 up in this first set.
Maxi Sanchez and Lucho Capra. 4-1 up here in this first set. Very early days. We've seen five unforced errors so far for Gingotto and Teo, as you can see there. The seven winners, though, as well. Big difference in the number of smashes. Nine for Sanchez and Capra. And I, th I think the one, one of the differences is about the, how they are handling the, the lob. And I think that Capra and, and Maxi, they're using the lob in a better way and, and winning, the, winning the net faster. And that makes the difference. Capra there at the net again. Yeah, great Capra. Great reaction, Fede trying to to speed up the ball, they are focusing on Fede when when Tello and Chingote are attacking and when they are at the back they are playing over over Juan Tello. So well Fede knows that she's going he's going to, to receive more balls. Great. <laughs> Testing this mass. Well that's four two. Not just the one um, break difference here. Well, now they're serving against the sun. So confident, he feels so confident with this mass. I think that they they need to focus flat, closer to the net, uh, and fix them, fix them to the net until they can use the lob. Capra that time. But Capra was on the other side of the court and yeah. really far away from, from the net. Thirty all. Mm. 
Montejo was demanding that ball. He was going out of the court. But sometimes everything happens so fast. Definitely, they don't feel confident. Yeah, they feel comfortable. Yeah, new balls because it's 5-2 to Capra and Sanchez here after seven games. quite a bit of uh, wind as we can see from the uh, three flags flying there and uh, Maxi Sanchez and Lucio Capra could be getting close to taking this uh, first set which would be a big step for them 5-2 up it's going to be Juan Teo to serve now yeah, now Juan and Fede, they must win this this game, trying to to encourage uh, themselves. Mm. And even because they, they have new balls, so I think that everything will be faster. That's it. Mm. And they might must be, they must keep focused. Uh, they were putting all the balls when they were defending over Fede Chingoto. And now, if uh, Juan Tejo is the one leading the, the attack, it's difficult to play against them. Dirty love, Teo serves. Oof. Great, Lucho. Yeah, because the, the smash was quite good. Yeah. It came really high, but fast movement, Cabra. Dirty 15. Yeah, that's it. Still battling away, Chingotto and uh, Teo. But uh, Sanchez with the opportunity now to serve for the set. Well, they keep focusing on Juan Teo when he's at the back. And Juan trying to to play cross, uh, down the line in order to uh, to put the defense over Fede Chingoto. Mm. 
dirty love. It's difficult to use the love from that side because uh, the, the wind is blowing and you have that sensation when uh, you use the, the love that maybe the, the ball will go out. That brings up the set point. And there it is. Yep. The first set That's goes it. the way of Maxi Sanchez and Lucho Capra. They take it 6 3. A really good start from them and some work for it. Chingotto and Teo to do as we see a replay of the match points. Uh, they really good performance from uh, Sanchez and, uh, and Capra in particular, really stepping up in this final so far. And they've got that first set's advantage now. So taking a look at these statistics from that first set, uh, Manu, what do Chingotto and, and Teo need to need to change? Well, I think as we can see, looking at the smashes, uh, I can see more smashes from from Lucho and, and Maxi, mostly from from Lucho. And I think I think that the, the overhead shots are well are better from from Lucho and, and Maxi. And when you're playing with the with the wind and uh, and with the, the warm, it's so difficult. So because well, they are forced to to play flat, close to the net. So I think that maybe they will they must be more confident and to use um, a bigger volume, uh, mostly from from uh, Chingoto. And uh, if that if, if they keep focusing on Juan Tello when they are at the back, I think that that's uh, that's difficult. But anyway, about the mental game, Fede and, and and Tello, maybe I think that during the first set they felt some pressure because mm. maybe they were the favorite. Yeah. And now during this set, they, they they should be going out and trying to win this net. Yeah, I guess it's an interesting situation for Chingotto and Tello because often. You know, if they get get to a final, they might not be the favourites because they might be. You know, they're, they're one of the top ranked players, but they're yeah. not. They're not at the very top of the yeah. the ranking. So they might be used to getting to a final and being the the underdogs. But this is the the opposite. Yeah, exactly. Situation. So sometimes talking about the the mental games and the mental skills, it's uh, quite difficult. Mostly when you're playing against, for example, Lucho, but you cannot feel. From here, I cannot feel that he's under pressure. He, he, he looks like he's enjoying yes. himself <laughs> so far. Maybe, maybe he is. <laughs> so, well, it's not easy. Uh, so, well, they need to be closer on the on the score and trying to keep the, the serve. And, and maybe the, the one who will feel the pressure now is Maxi and... and and Lucho because well they won the first set and, and maybe yeah suddenly it seems real that the yeah. they have a genuine chance to, 
to go on and win it. And sometimes it happens. It, you suddenly realize that you can win, and this is then it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then you feel the pressure. Yeah. Maxi Sanchez serves. Fifteen love. We work now pointing on, on Juan Tello at the back. This is something that well they keep doing and it's uh, coming up. Well, that's it. One more mistake. the net and wide from Teo. Still just kind of feeling his way into this final. We know what a, uh, a spectacular player Juan Teo can uh, can be when he's at his best. Yeah, I can feel he is under pressure now. Maybe he feels that he must win every point. Hmm. And Capra and Maxi, they're playing very solid. They are not doubting. situation. Yeah. Love 30. Well, we saw in the first set a, an early break yeah. made the difference in the end and they won't want the same thing to happen here, Chingoto and Teo. Absolutely. Because, well, it's different to, to break your opponent's serve. That's more the like ball it. he was searching for yeah. before. Big one again there. Yeah. Much more like it from Teo. 
And the people cheering, they want to see more final. Love. Much, much better yep. from uh, Chingoto and Teo. And you can hear from their reaction that they uh, are feeling encouraged by that. They go 2 1 up in set two. See what happens now if uh, Chingoto and Teo can continue this uh, little improvement in form that we saw in that last game. They need to if they want to find a way back into this uh, final and uh, lift the trophy. Let's see now after the talk with Gaby Reca if uh, Teo and Chingoto are able to, fo to focus on on what they're searching for. And let's see if uh, Maxi and, and Lucho are able to keep focused all the time. Just the moment that they begin to connect good lobs, mm. everything changes. They were needing this kind of, of lobs and, and they need to be closer to net. Good luck. Great. Much, much better again. And I think that the Chingotos down the line lobs are making the difference because then they can win the net and after that everything is uh, easier. Let's see now if Maxi if Maxi solves that that lobs. with the return. That was a really good chance to put a huge amount of pressure on Capra there. Still 15-30. Both players outside of the court. 
15-40. Yeah. There's one <laughs> and two. <laughs> Is this the moment when Chingoto yep. and Teo's luck starts to uh, to change here? It is. And that's it. Teo at the net. They get that break. Well, there's something that we cannot see from this uh, position, Alex, and maybe not the viewers, but when the, when the wind is blowing, it's, it's blowing on the other uh, direction. So it's like uh, slowing down the, the ball. That's the reason why now. Tello has been able to, to knock down these two balls. So, feeling much better now, Chingoto and Tello, and Chingoto with the serve uh, here, looking to keep that going. Fede made a mistake with that that shot. The ball rebounded too much. Tello must keep calm because he's used to, to do that kind of smash, uh, jumping smash. But the problem with the wind is that maybe he's trying to to connect the ball, but, but the ball is, is moving all the time. So it's not so easy doing that kind of smash outdoors. So now four opportunities. They saved one. from Gingotto yep. is good. Makes it 30-40, saving break point there. Off for the changing the, mm. the racket. Why would he want to do that? Just... Well, uh, is it practical reasons? Is it sometimes maybe just how he's no. feeling? Or maybe it has broken. Mm. Uh, well, uh, sometimes it's the feeling. You're, you know, when you're when you're playing with that, uh, with this warm, with this temperature. Yeah. Uh, oh, the racket maybe gets softer. Even some players keep that on the freezer during the during the match. Yeah. Well, Inside. as you saw, the uh, the ball there from the miss hit ended up in the crowd. Pretty much, unfortunately, for uh, for Teo.
looking at the numbers again there and twice as many unforced errors from Jingotto and Teo more winners uh, to getting closer in terms of the numbers of, yep. of smashes compared to before uh, anyway they, they keep using more smashes than than Chingoto and Teo obviously because uh, Capra now uh, on this couple Capra and uh, Maxi they both can use the smash mm, well obviously Chingoto can use the, the smash but it's not his uh, strongness Fucking seen on Tello at the back. Yeah, and this is the difference now when Capra uses the, the smash, the wind blows and brings the ball back. So I think that now he will be more accurate doing this action. Oof. Lucho, he's volleying with everything. Dirty love. Volleying uh, quite deep, maybe Gato Tello can step forward and trying to volley that ball because he's letting the ball pass and sometimes it's really difficult to, to put the ball out. So I think that he could try to step forward, looking forward to, uh, to volley that ball. Wow, impressive Fede. Look at that smash. Now Fede and Juan, they're trying to, to speed up the ball when they're close to the net, be more aggressive. can see the net yeah flying that's when you know that the wind is really <laughs> yeah. uh, blowing yeah. and the thing is that we know that the, the wind is coming towards to to the camera but now the net is blowing to the into the the opposite direction so uh, that's the difficult that it's all the time changing whoa Huge mistake. 
now they need to take this time. They have 20 seconds to think about the next movement. I'm not sure what the uh, umpire was saying there. Video review. Some discussion. Yeah, I don't know what, what happened. Let's see. Okay. I don't know what's the problem. No, no I was trying to work <laughs> it out, and I don't either. Maybe someone in on the comments below can <laughs> give us information. Discussions are continuing among the players as well. I think that, well, Fede is like saying that he was, he said no. Uh, talking about if the ball went out or, uh, yeah. out or not. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Double check. Yeah. So the yeah the initial uh, decision yeah. announced by the umpire was then um, changed again. <laughs> it's all very confusing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I don't know what happened yet. <laughs> At least now we know. Yeah. Gold points. Juan Teo to serve. And let's see because now they have to be really focused. Mm. It's an important moment. Oof. The net from Juan Teo, Back. into the net from Juan Teo. Wow. When the break goes the way of uh, Capra. And uh, Sanchez to take a 4-3 lead on the goal yeah. point. Huge moment coming in uh, game seven. Always so uh, important and uh, could be very significant here. It was certainly a, a dramatic conclusion to that game. With the, uh, the video yeah. review and everything. Yeah, and, and the problem is it's not the best moment to be fighting that, that, yeah. that battle. Yeah. You have to focus on, on what you're doing. And, and well, some bad luck now from Juan. The ball went to the went on, on the net. And let's see about the reaction. 
because now uh, Maxi and, and and Capra are close to uh, to win this final, but everything, anything can happen anyway. They must know, Maxi and Lucho, that it's close. It's close now. 4-3 up in the second set, having taken the first. Yeah, now they have to keep the serve. But, you know, this is something... Sometimes you get nervous when you're in, the, yeah. in this situation because now you have time to think about it and maybe you are imagining getting the trophy and, and everything, so... Yeah, you start to picturing yourself. Yes. <laughs> Lifting the silverware, calling your mom, mom. And, and then and then when you come back to reality, <laughs> yeah. you've lost you've lost the game, and, yeah. and it's got away from you. That happens. Yeah. Don't get ahead of yourself. Capra to serve, and yes, needs to hold his serve here. And again, the, the same situation. I think that Teo must, he must step forward and volley that ball because they're focusing and aiming for his feet. And I think that they're out of this final on fundamental point of view now, on this moment. Thirty fifteen. you hear uh, Chingotto just geeing up uh, Teo there. He knows what a big couple of points this, this is right here. Yes. Chingoto knows that now Juan Tello, when they're defending, he's key because they're searching for him. They're pointing on, on Juan when they are at the back, so they need Juan to be focused on, on the game. Well, anyway, Maxi was waiting for the, for the lob. He knows yeah. that Fede is going to, to use the down the line lob, and he was stepping backwards. Chingotto serving now at 5-3 down. Absolutely needs to hold his serve or it's all over. Well, this is good from Shingoto and Teo so far. 40 yep. love. Good reaction. And that's 5-4. So it's an interesting moment in this match, and it's an interesting moment to listen in to the uh, coaches here, Manu. Let's see what they have to say. Chiquita, Maxi. Pero no la primera, lo hago bolear. Si estoy cómodo, depende de la comodidad. Chiquita, lo traigo y ahí le cuelgo el globo. Dale, pero escucha, ahora no podemos dudar. Entonces, lo tenemos que mover mucho para un tiro de calidad. Le busco el globo ahí atrás. Fíjate que cuando rompimos nos dio resultado. Pero después no seguimos más. Dale, 
perfecto. Muy bien. Vamos, eh. Sí. Vamos, vamos a vaciarnos. Yo, nos vaciamos acá. Eh. Dale, dale, vamos a vaciarnos acá. Dale, dale excelente. Dale. Eh. Entonces, maneja, defende, no hagas todo, pum, pum, porque está una evaluación intermedia y se están boleando cómodos. Okay. El resto, si, si vale. ves que está no con duda, que boleen. Van a dudar, Cuando vamos a dudar. Juegas, chiquita, mira, Maxi, lo vas a traer, él va a bolear peor y ahí le juega así. Okay. Vamos, dale. vamos, van a dudar. Vamos, dale, dale. vamos, vamos a traerlo. ¿Qué le queda abajo? Sí, no, una sí, la, pero que la ganen, sí, sí la ganen. Si sí, nosotros le estamos... Se agachó y tiró un globo y la tiró la mierda. la mierda. Y si de ahí nos saca un globazo, genial. Seguimos jugando, seguimos jugando un ratito más. Pensamos en nuestro juego, pensamos en nuestro juego. Pensamos en nuestro juego. Vamos, en nuestro juego. Is repeating. We'll think about our game. We'll think about our game. Yeah. We heard Chingotto saying they are going to doubt. They are going to, to have doubts as well. Well, Maxi and. Bolé y remate, bolé y remate, bolé y remate. Toma por culo. Así me gusta, así me gusta. Con confianza, eh. Con confianza, eso es. Maxi and. Me va a poner a girar ahí hasta ahí abajo. Nah, está bien, está bien. Y aparte lo que te digo, mejor si no le damos ritmo, mejor. Si no, pues no quebraría. <coughs> Asking for calm and confidence there, Maxi from Lucho. Yeah, well, Maxi and Lucho they're going to play. They they want two or three shots per per point, shorter rallies, and uh, well, they will be pointing on, on Juan Tello at the back. Uh, and Fede and, and Juan they're pointing on Maxi. Uh, Gabi Gabi was demanding to uh, De Tello to, to use the chiquita or, or or Fede to use the chiquita towards Maxi and then using the love. But uh, well, he he was talking about Juan Tello at the back and he was all the time using the using the straight the straight uh, shots and hard shots and well, Maxi is waiting for that. So well, they they know each other's and uh, they know what uh, are the tactics but it depends on the on the players to to come up with the results good stuff from sanchez and capra yep Here it is. Yes. Four. Tournament points. They are so close now. They have played this game just as Maxi Sanchez was saying, with, with confidence. Yeah. And he's leaving in there and thinking about how they want to play. Doing what they, they told that yep. they were going to do. Exactly. <laughs> and there it is. And look at that reaction. Look at that from Lucho yeah. Capra. Well, just cannot believe it. You Absolutely can delighted. He is so, so happy. Can't contain his excitement. And it's really great to, to see. What a moment for Lucha Capra and for Maxi Sanchez as well. Victory for them in the Visor League Master 2021. And just look at that massive smile. Big smile from Lucho Capra. It's very special. Yep. Standing ovation for this uh, Argentinian pair. Disappointment, of course, for uh, Chingotto and Teo, but Maxi Sanchez, the former world number one, and Lucho Capra, this pair who came together just two months ago in uh, Alicante. And here they are, the winners of the Vita Lead uh, Master 2021. Just uh, really, really special for them. And a moment that they will uh, never forget, no question about that. Here was that match point. The return long from Teo and then just uh, unbridled joy from Lucho Capra especially and Maxi Sanchez too. Capra throwing his racket up yeah. in the air. <laughs> didn't Car know where it was going to land Careful. for a moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because he didn't care when. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What a moment for those two. We'll hear from them in just a second. It was a 38 minute set two, 6-4 in Capra and Sanchez's favour. Uh, they had those two break points, they had more winners, fewer smashes actually, fewer unforced errors as well, that's important, and the one gold point. It's a 6-3, a 6-4 win for Maxi Sanchez and Lucho Capra, and we'll hear from the winners here in Vital Leeds courtside in just a moment.
match summary there. Looking at the numbers, I mean, fewer unforced errors from uh, Capra and Sanchez. They got those break points and the gold points. The, the, the key moments, as always, the key moments in the match went, yep. went their way. Yeah, the key moments the, during the, the beginning of the of every set, each set, uh, more smashes, less unforced errors, more gold points, and that makes the difference. Uh, I think that too many mistakes from from Taeyeon Chingoto, uh, not what we were expecting. They deserve it. Yeah, let's hear from the tournament winners, Maxi Sanchez and Lucho Capra. Then. See what they have to say. Congratulations, Maxi and Lucho. Lucho, we've been saying you've had difficult moments. Haven't always had the results. Well, here it is. Your first trophy on the World Paddle Tour together with Maxi Sanchez. Thank you to everyone. They help the players. It's been real 10 out of 10. For me, it's a special place. Here, I spend a lot of time here in Five Elite with people that I, uh, that I love. In the match, I try to not think about things too much. En, en lo que estábamos haciendo, think about what we were doing solamente. and just play I think maybe they still haven't es un sueño increíble, es un sueño haven't realidad, taken it in it's eh, a dream come true for me Maxi, first tournament with Maxi to win eh, sacar spectacular nivel. we played y, our best paddle bueno, seguir, seguir en esta línea. we'll try and keep following Seguro going que sí, along the same lines este título, Lucho Capra, tras un que ha realizado Congratulations, Lucho. Maxi, how are you? Excellent, Nacho. Excellent. <laughs> Ah, sonreír en pista. Siempre vuelve, siempre vuelve. Pero bueno, como, como dije hace dos días atrás, creo que two days ago. todos los deportistas tenemos que superar el día a día. Ese, ese es mi trabajo y mentalidad. Sportsmen have to improve por every day. That's my, what I work on. Por, por lo que dije los otros días también, aceptar el reto de jugar conmigo. Oh, sé que, sé que es muy difícil, venía pasando momentos duros. Playing with me, eh, I know we've had some difficult moments. Carlos, junto a Severino y el equipo we've técnico. We've done it together with Severino and the technical team. Así que felicitarlo a Luke, que jugó como un veterano más la final. Played the final like a veteran. En los momentos que que yo estuve más, más inseguro. When eh, I was more insecure. Juan, que son amigos, y Congratulations to our friends, Fede and Juan. Torneo. Had a great y tournament. Nada, gracias, Valladolid. Thank you to Valladolid. Gracias, Valladolid, por, por siempre el cariño espectacular. The, uh, es, creo que uno affection. de los torneos más bonitos de, de Always, it's one of the most beautiful tournaments nada, of the season. Feliz, dedicarle el really happy. Dedicate my, uh, my win to my family back in Argentina. We'll keep going and keep winning trophies. Thank you very much. The words on the ovation there for Maxi Sanchez and Lucho Capra, champions of the second master of the season. And now they will sign our camera there. Lucho Capra winning his first tournament. Joking around there with the, the hand shaking almost. Maxi Sanchez as well. Our winners of the Vice Elite Master 2021 and congratulations to them. So it's been a special day here in Vaya Leeds. Congratulations to Maxi Sanchez and Lucho Capra. It's been a brilliant tournament, uh, Manu, it really has. Yeah, absolutely. I think that uh, Maxi and, and Lucho, they deserve uh, to win this final. They have been an impressive um, tournament. 
So, well, I'm so so happy for them. And, well, in one week, we have more paddle. Yeah, the paddle never stops. It really does. And thank you, as always, for your company here on our English language coverage of the World Paddle Tour. We'll be back very, very soon. But for now, from Vaith Lead, from Manu and myself, it's adios. Bye-bye. <laughs>